Hi, this is Denise. Welcome to my tutorial. And today's topic is going to be about inspiration. This is part of the beginner tutorial series on user interface and visual design. So what we will be talking today is how do we get inspiration or how do we keep ourselves inspired from being creative? So I am going to um, give you some tips on how to keep yourself motivated in designing. So it is really a very uh, difficult question. Like many people would ask, how do you get inspired or how do I keep myself um, be or be motivated in what I do in especially like in designing. And I think in general, everyone, whenever we go to work or whenever we do something, we always want to have that um, kick for us to be able to uh, move forward and move on and be able to do what we need to do, especially in our job. So uh, we need to be um, inspired, you know, to especially in creating and, and, uh, and developing new ideas. So it is actually um, a, a difficult question because it, it also depends on how the person will um, react to it and how the person will receive it. But uh, today, like I said, I'm gonna share with you my tips and how these tips help me from keeping myself motivated and um, inspired whenever I design. So the first one is keep the fire burning. It is to constantly um, stimulate your creativity because creativity isn't necessarily a characteristic you are born with, but it's a trait that can be honed through habit. So with the right practice and persistence, you can rewire your brain to make the most of your inherent ability to generate original ideas. So the best way build your creative mind is through practice. So, you know, pick your favorite creative pursuits and do them regularly, daily if you can. So it's the same thing with designing. Um, it, God has blessed you with a talent of, you know, visual design. There are just, you know, people who are just so talented. Um, like, it's just an instinct, you know, like they can already identify color combination and whatnot. And um, they excel uh, more in this area. And when they practice that field, that certain field, and constantly, you know, practicing it, then they become better in that area. So that's why it is so important that um, we have to stimulate our brain in order to to develop and become more creative because the more you flex your creative muscle, the more your mind will naturally innovate. So there's a research shows that creative practice reduces stress and improves problem solving. Next is join a group of like-minded people. So be in, engaging with people, get insights and uh, learn from, from them, um, you know, from being part of a group where all of you have the same goal, you all want to become a designer and or you all want to become a visual designer or you want to be a user experience or user interface designer, you will get insight from them and you learn from them. You, you, you can um, see their designs. They can give you uh, what are you know what are the things that you need to do and what not you know the pros and cons and all these things that will help you um, be more creative and that you will be able to apply it in in the process and uh, you will also learn from them the struggles that they're going through and you're not alone so it will also encourage you, encourage you to move on, move forward, because there are times whenever you, you design or you do a project, it will take months. And there are also people who would do it for like almost a year. And, you know, it drains you, you know, it, it drains out of you. And 
and it uh, demoralizes you. So um, you need to be surrounded with people who will also encourage you and you get inspiration from them. And you get to see their projects and how they they um, they they worked on it, and you will learn the 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 way they they handle their prob- problems or they handle situations and they handle projects. So we have to be surrounded with a group. Like in my case, I am in a group. I am in a couple of groups of web designers, and um, I remember where I was. You know. When I just started doing this, um, there was this gentleman who supported me, and he was, and he lived in the other part of the world, and he was an owner of a marketing agency, and uh, he was so supportive that I, it was just too good to be true. But from that, I learned so much, and even selling website, like, like dealing with uh, clients, I, 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 I was able to to get. Um, tips from him, you know, how to sell um, website and how to, you know, negotiate with with clients. So that's why it is just so important to be surrounded with like minded people and engage yourself because no one is no man is an island. In my case, I prefer to to work alone. I mean, whenever I work alone, I can think, you know, I can think um, quietly but it is also different when you are together with other people, like like-minded people, because, um, like I said, you learn more from engaging with, with people. Okay, next is environment with great designs. So you have to be surrounded with great designs. So in my desk at home, I have a lot of paintings around me, and my desk is also in front of my window, which is on my front yard where I can see my garden, you know, and it's a really, really nice view and it relaxes my mind and it um, makes me um, more creative and I can think better, you know, because my mind is relaxing and then and then I can um, work it out again or think of it again, you know, so like it's just... It's, how do you say that? It's stimulating, you know. So we can even um, add let not just paintings or any other work of art that, you know, stimulates your mind. So as you can see here in the picture, there's painting in front if that's what you prefer or you want maybe photographs. You know, if, if you love uh, photography, you can put that there or whatever that is that really... Um, inspires you to be more creative so if for you it's also nice to see your books in front of you like why not you know I mean creativity and art is is really subjective so whatever that uh, stimulates your mind and and, uh, motivates you then do it and put it in front of you and you can even add plants you know plants or I also have succulents here in my desk, so I love it. I love the, you know, the the feel, the presence of a plant next to me, although I have a really beautiful garden outside. But um, having a, a succulent, because I love succulent, right, right in front of me, I feel like, I feel like I'm in, in you know, in between um, the nature. So in the middle of the nature, there it is. So that's it. Stay educated, books. So read books. Yes, we have to read books. Books about, you know, growing your business or maybe about your own creative niche, but also seek outside of your industry, you know, um, read other discipline. So let's say, what about an uh, architecture coffee table book? Pick up a literary classic or a light fiction read? Or maybe, you know, spend the day at your library flipping through Renaissance art or European gardens or fashion magazine, you know, soak up all the visual inspiration you can find and keep your journal or phone handy to take note of it. And not just that, you can also uh, read books uh, regarding, you know, marketing, search engine optimization, and even, you know, uh, product management, you know, at least you will have idea on how to market your product and how to um, optimize your website so it's not you know i mean it's always good to learn more 
Okay, so I'm encourage you guys. So one of the things to get inspired is read books and uh, try to read other discipline as well. Do non-client work. I cannot stress this one enough. Non-client work is so good for our creative soul. So in this industry, we are so fortunate to do what we love like as a job. But when you attach monetary value and client expectations to your work, you know, the work loses some of that creative magic. So, you know, do non-client work for your own creative fulfillment. Let's say, what would you create if there were no limitations? You know, give yourself a, you know, like pretend dream client and, you know, create a project for them like let's say for example like you join a style shoot or collaboration that suits your dream aesthetic and then start a passion project that fuels your creative fire and then find that skinny spark of inspiration again and remember why you love what you do so you know that's um, one thing and another thing is um you can also um do other things like what you like for example painting you know if you love painting or sketching or photography just do something that is not um i would say part of your uh really daily job because it really helps you motivates you like for example in my case i love uh, making videos i am not a videographer but um when i was in the mountains you know i am um, i'm part of this um club you know the mountaineering club and i i made a video and uh, um just you know for just f for documentation it's just for my you know for for myself you know i i I was, you know, uh, shooting the mountains, the Alps, and and later when I I put them all together, and I was so happy. I didn't expect that it turned out really, really nice, and it was actually used by the club to to promote their uh, program for the next year's program. So that way, it inspires me to do more and to be more creative. So that's what I encourage you to do non-client work. So non-client work is not just about, uh, you know, work related, it could be something else like your hobby and, and stuff like that painting, drawing, or it could also be cooking, baking, because there's also, you know, cooking is also an art. So do what you really love, you know, and, and, and get inspired. And lastly is get away from your computer. Be exposed to different culture away from home. So uh, many people, um, I love like my, in my case, I love to travel, you know, and many designers as well that I know love traveling. And because when you travel, you get to be exposed with different culture and uh, different places, you know, and you get inspired. It, it's... Uh, it's just different. I mean, no words can explain, you know, get away from your cu computer could be um, just relaxing because your, your your mind is now um, diverted into something also creative and you know that it will help you build your uh, creative soul, you know, um, like as you can see here in the picture, you, he's on top of the mountain and, you know, like, Oh my goodness, I remember this view, like looking at this, you know, this guy in front of, you know, the mountains is just so beautiful. Like it really inspires you, like whenever you see the color and, you know, I love whenever I, I paint or I, I sketch, I always love to 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 paint or draw the mountains and I love putting the colors. There's just, it's just, you know, it... It makes you happy also. It changes your mood, obviously. And, and when, when your, um, your mood is changed, that um, releases hormone in your body that will influence, you know, your, your mind, your, um, your brain in, in producing and, and being creative. That's why um, it is always um, helpful to, to go outside. I'm not just saying that go outside is like traveling, not just that, but, you know, just put down your phone, you know, pay attention to the world around you, whether it's people watching during lunch at a busy shopping center or immersing yourself, like I said, um, outside in your community, you know, take a walk or um, do maybe sport or run and, you know, or just be surrounded with uh, nature.
that's all or you know a solo hike is also good and you can think better and it makes you more relaxed and then that uh, will help you and motivate you to be creative more creative i would say so that's it guys those are the eight tips that actually help me to keep myself inspired motivated and creative especially in this field of designing we need to be inspired and we need to be motivated all the time because it is really uh, draining you know but uh, whenever that thing happens to me I just you know leave my computer I drink my coffee or I do something else I go outside I I breathe you know <laughs> some fresh air and I, I just you know go out for a run and you know or and, and hang out with my daughter and or play around with our dog so just do whatever that uh, that uh, will help you and uh, stimulate you in becoming more creative so these are the eight tips that help me and I hope it will also help you get inspired and be motivated in designing so that's it guys thank you so much for staying with me and uh, as a support to this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe or leave me your message in the comment box below and give me a thumbs up so i'll see you next time thank you have a nice day ciao